I'm Emilio Pazmino, and this is the Rare Pinocchio Lizard. Today we're here in a place in Ecuador called Mindo, exploring a special type of habitat, the cloud forest. Even though there are so many species of strange, endemic animals that inhabit this forest, I came here looking for one target. After a very long night's search, I was able to find one. This right here is the really rare Pinocchio lizard. This lizard is called the Pinocchio lizard because the males of this species have a really long horn on the tip of their snout that makes it look like Pinocchio's nose. However, this right here is a female, so it does not have the horn. Now, why would I want to find this guy so bad? I mean, it's just an ordinary little green lizard, right? Well, it actually has a very interesting story. It was first discovered in 1953 with a single male specimen found on a roadside here in the cloud forest. And then, it was not seen again for over 50 years. People thought it was extinct. It was almost like a legend. And then, in 2004, it was rediscovered in very few sites up here in Mindo. This is one of the rare cases where a species long thought to be extinct has come back from the dead. The elongated structure on the male's snout is called a proboscis and is used to impress mates. Even though it doesn't have its horn, I can identify this as a Pinocchio knoll because of its pale green body and its kind of striped tail. Also, that slow moving walk is very different from every other anole seen here in the area. As much as I would have loved to have found a male, the fact that this is a female might even be a more special discovery because the first female of this species was only found in August 2009. It's crazy to think that just over a decade ago this animal was completely unknown to science. I love how calm this lizard is, like look at that. Most of those will be jumping and skittering by now, even more than that. But look how slowly he walks, it has kind of like a chameleon style of walking, very slow. Even after its miraculous rediscovery, it still remains very rare. In fact, there are only 12 locations where this species still lives, and Septimo Paraiso is one of them. Because of this amazing rediscovery and its endemic nature, this species is a symbol for Ecuadorian conservation efforts. Even though it was thought to be extinct once before, it soon may go extinct again. Because unfortunately, the forest where it lives, the cloud forest, is being cut down at an alarming rate. Habitat loss is probably the biggest threat to the species. But there may also be an illegal pet trade because who wouldn't want to have these guys as a pet? Look how cool it is. But we can't do that. We need to return it to its natural habitat. It was such an honor to find this incredible creature. But it's going to be an even greater honor to return it back to its natural habitat. Bueno muchachos, till next time. A special thanks to the Septimo Paraiso Lodge for hosting us over the last few episodes. If you ever get a chance to visit the pristine cloud forest of western Ecuador, be sure to stop by to enjoy activities such as hiking, swimming, bird watching, and with a little luck you may be able to catch a glimpse of some incredible creatures, including one of Ecuador's greatest reptilian treasures, the Pinocchio and all. If you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.